friends welcome back to my channel and hope you're all having a wonderful day so today i'm going to show you how to make the classic chinese american style sweet and sour chicken the crispy fried chicken covered in sweet and tangy sauces finger licking good if you are a fan of sweet and sour chicken then you would definitely want to try out this recipe and it's also free from food coloring so let's see how to make this takeout favorite sweet and sour chicken So the first step is to marinate the chicken before frying and let me show you the ingredients for marination. So this is uh, about 800 grams of boneless skinless chicken breast uh, cut into bite sized pieces. 1 tablespoon of pepper powder. 1 tablespoon of uh, ginger garlic uh, paste. 1 tablespoon of soy sauce and some salt. So first I'm gonna add all the ingredients um, into the chicken for marination so I'm gonna add a tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, a tablespoon of pepper powder and a tablespoon of soy sauce and some salt and mix everything well and uh, marinate the chicken pieces for at least half an hour before um, frying the chicken. So the next step is to bread the chicken. So first I'm dipping the chicken in the all-purpose flour, then in the egg and finally into the cornstarch. This double coating uh, makes the chicken really crispy and the chicken will stay crispy even when we add it to the sauce. So for breading the chicken I've taken half a cup of all-purpose flour and half a cup of cornstarch and two beaten eggs. And just shake off the excess cornstarch from the chicken. So the breaded chicken is now ready and we can start frying it. So I have added half a cup of oil into the pan and I'm frying the chicken pieces in batch. Make sure not to crowd the pan. Um, if you crowd the pan the chicken will just get steamed and you will not get that crispy exterior. So now the chicken is almost ready. As you can see the chicken really has a very crispy coating. So now I'm going to remove it into a paper towel and get rid of any excess oil. So the fried chicken is now ready and we can start preparing the sauce. And for the sauce here I have 1 third cup of ketchup, 4 tablespoon of soy sauce and this is a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is really um, good for your health. It has antimicrobial and antioxidant properties and if you don't have an apple cider vinegar and you're using synthetic vinegar just use 2 teaspoon of it. This is 1 and a half tablespoon of ginger garlic finely chopped few tablespoon of uh, green onions, one bell pepper chopped, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of black pepper, the fried chicken and some salt. Into a pan I added three tablespoon of oil and now I'm adding one and a half tablespoon of finely chopped uh, ginger and garlic. Fry just for a minute until it becomes fragrant. So now it's time to add the bell peppers and the um, green onions. Again saute for a minute on high flame uh, but the vegetables has to remain crunchy. So 
so after a minute it's now time to add all the sauces that is um, 4 tablespoon of soy sauce half a cup of apple cider vinegar half one third cup of ketchup a one tablespoon of pepper powder and one tablespoon of sugar mix everything well and uh, let it come to a boil so now the sauce has come to a boil and now we can add the chicken pieces mix the chicken pieces well with the sauce until all pieces of chicken gets coated well with the sauce uh, this might seem like a lot of sauce but uh, breading on the chicken will absorb most of the sauce So now our sweet and sour chicken is ready and we can garnish it with some spring onions. So here I'm gonna serve the sweet and sour chicken like how they serve in the Chinese restaurant. For that here I have some uh, white rice. Um, you can also use brown rice for a healthier option. I also have some uh, steamed broccoli and carrots. So our healthy and yummy sweet and sour chicken platter is ready. Hope you like this recipe that I shared today and if you did do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and I would love to hear your feedbacks about my video. And thanks a lot friends for watching.